Hey everybody, I'm out working on the 2001 workhorse step van today. I'm having an intermittent stall issue with the, uh, I believe it's linked to the oil pressure sensor. So I'm going to be removing that today and I've got to fabricate a custom tool to do this because the sensor is about two and five and five eighths inches deep and a regular standard socket that's inch and a sixteenth is not going to reach down to uh, spin it out of the out of the intake manifold so I've got I've got the socket that I just picked up today um, and then I'm going to cut this in half and then I'm going to weld a piece of pipe in the middle of it to make it longer so I'll be walking you through that process and then we'll we'll go in and and show you the uh, the removal of the sensor. Alright, so here it is. I got my long reach socket now and I'm going to go quench this thing because it is super hot and then we'll get over to the box truck and get working on that sensor. Alright, I'm going to dig into the sensor. I got to get that fuel filter housing moved and then the sensor is right underneath so I'll get that housing out of the way and then I'll bring you guys in and you can see where that sensor is located. So down there is that sensor, get a little more light. So right here is where I'm going to be using my socket and I'm going to get in there and hopefully loosen that up. All right guys, so that intake manifold is in the way. I'm going to have to shorten that socket that I made up a little bit, actually a lot. And um, we'll be back here in a minute and we'll try and get that socket over there. Cause as you can see from a top view, it's kind of at an angle uh, headed the opposite way towards my entrance point. Definitely no room on this side. So it's definitely in a, in a tight spot as far as getting 
a socket of that size in there I mean that is that's really tight so I kind of I'm gonna have to get my socket to where it goes over the top and then I can tip it under and hopefully slide it down onto it so it's gonna take some measuring and getting the socket exactly the way I need it All right, so I should have turned the hyperlapse off for the removal of that sensor finally. Uh, as you can see, I had to go back and shorten that socket up that I made. Um, as soon as I got that shortened, um, I got it on that sensor, uh, tapped it down there a little bit, and then it, it went onto the sensor. And luckily that sensor, I don't know if you can see it, but it's only got three or four threads that were in. So when I, backed it out of the intake manifold um it wasn't hitting against it because the the socket wasn't too long so the second time i got that socket made up it was a perfect length it's perfect for this job it'll be perfect to put the new one in um so sometimes this stuff is is trial and error i don't cut and edit all that stuff out of here because i think that's that's how we all learn you know you gotta you got to do something and, and see if it works and if it doesn't adapt and overcome to get it right so um this is huge having the sensor out for me i can order a new sensor i'm going to get a brand new ac delco brand oem uh, this looks like it might be an aftermarket i don't see any part numbers on it so that's usually the case if these have aftermarket oil pressure sensors in them they will tell your oil pressure gauge that you have low oil pressure this oil pressure sensor is also attached to your fuel lift pump so what happens it's it's a safety measure so if you get in an accident um, and a fuel line is broken this this sensor will also shut off your lift pump for your fuel so what's happening is I'm getting a low oil pressure reading which is false from this sensor and it's kicking off my fuel pump and shutting the engine off. So this is a dual purpose sensor. I'm gonna get a new one ordered and then I'll, I'll put it in and uh, everything should be good to go. The, the engine runs great when it's running. It, it just has a, a phantom stall and this is, this is most likely what it is. And uh, I'll do an update video after I get the new one in to uh, let you know if it was successful or not which i'm i'm almost positive it's going to be but thank you guys for hanging out um if you don't have a tool make a tool if if you got the time i i knew that i needed to get this out today yeah i can go on amazon and order a, a socket and hope that it's the right length when it gets here but being here and able to go back and back and forth and measure and and see what I need I mean that whole process probably took me maybe 40 minutes today to to get that socket made up I mean you know running to the store to get it was another 30 so but I had to get this out today so there we go God bless y'all thank you bye